Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to be doing working on my friendship flocker journal. If you don't know what that is, um, it's a swap we've got going in a Facebook group called The Flock. And what it is, is um, we put in each month how many people we want to swap with. And then we get chosen names and then we send envelopes of goodies to things about us. It's called a friendship journal because you send things to new people, you meet new friends, and hopefully, you know, gain some new friends and learn some new things in some different cultures and stuff like that. This is my friendship journal. What it is is I just took a composition notebook, uh, gessoed it with white gesso, and then I... Uh, Use some matte gel medium and put on some wall decals that I got from the Dollar Tree uh, with this. And did the front and back and it came out really, really nice. I used some scrapbook paper from the inside. I had, This is just my title page I haven't done anything with yet. Uh, and then I took all the pages... And every couple of pages, I just crunched, crunched it all up like that and then laid it flat. That gives you the fatty patty journal effect, right? All the way across. And then while it was closed, after I did this, I took my alcohol sprays, just different colors, and I sprayed the edges. So that way, if by chance, you know, some of the images that you put in here, like this one was from Tracy, um, don't, they, let me see, don't make it all the way to the edge. You still have some color there from your alcohol ink. Okay. So I got two envelopes today. See, these are some of my pages I've done already. That one's from Emily Welda. This one was from Kieran Schesser. This one's from Brenda Martino. This page is from Lori McGarity. And what they do, what happens is they send you an envelope full of goodies and you do a page spread, one page, two page, ten pages, whatever you want, um, with what they give you. And hopefully they give you a little bit that represents who they are. Like Lori, she makes the most fabulous painting papers I've ever seen. Okay? And so a lot of her painting papers that she sent me went as my background along with the envelope she sent because she painted the heck out of her envelope too so the envelope is on here as well this one was Sean's he's into spray paint art so he sent me one of his cards absolutely beautiful this one is from Kathy Volante This one is from Miss Laura Vasquez. She loves Wizard of Oz. I skipped a page because they were wet. This one is from Miss Tracy Wearing. This one is from Gloria Schmidt. She sent me all kinds of goodies and I didn't want to cover what I had down so... I just put them in paper clips so they're here with her little note that she sent me. And this one is my friend Santa from Finland. I did hers yesterday, I believe, in the video. This one is Mama B, Miss B Melissa Bishop, who is the, um, the creator of the Facebook group, The Flock. Used to be 70 Acre Studios. Okay, and those are her fleeples, her flower people, and that's all I've got so far, but I've got two friendship envelopes that I got in the mail yesterday and today, and these are the two I'm going to do. The first one is from Eva Gamble, and look at the envelope she painted. Isn't that beautiful with the koi and, and the... The lily pads, and that's just fabulous. I don't even want to cut this up. I don't even think I'm going to use this side of our envelope in it. 
If I do, I will paper clip it in because honestly, I do not want to tear it apart. It is just beautiful as one piece of art in itself. Okay. And then she did the back right here with the feathers and the flower or the leaves and feathers and stuff. So this one off this side, I'll probably put in here as um, background. But the other one, I'm going to keep. I'm going to hold on to that because that is absolutely beautiful. And this is some of the stuff. Well, she sent me quite a bit that she sent me with her note. And her note is going to go in there as well. So let me go ahead and get this part of the envelope off. See, and that's another thing when you decorate or when you send this stuff, you decorate envelopes. And, you know, if, you're, if your favorite thing is to stencil, then stencil the envelope. If it's painty papers and gel plates, then throw that thing on a gel plate and go to town. Now, Eva, uh, she apparently loves, she is so great. That's so awesome. I cannot believe how beautiful her envelope is. Um... I just, I love it. But yeah, that, this piece I'm going to keep for, I will just add it to the book as itself. Now that won't completely cover both sides, but it's beautiful enough that I might be able to get away with it. She sent me a lot of die cuts. A lot of bling, beautiful bling, a beautiful ATC, look at that, it says treasure, another beautiful ATC, it says remember, and I love these colors, oh my gosh, these are my favorite color palettes, um, if you think the colors surrounding fall or autumn, those are my favorites, and then throw in purple on the side. <laughs> <laughs> like purple. Okay. And some more goodies. Wow. Eva girl, you went all out. And I cannot wait to use some of this in your spread. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at all of that. So beautiful. Oh, and she sent me some washi tape. I love these leaves. I forget what they're called. Skeleton leaves, I believe that's what they're called. I may hold on to those for my Halloween journal that I'm going to do this year. That's beautiful. Some ribbon, some cording, some beautiful fibers. And flowers. Oh, purple flowers. Ooh, look at the button. Oops. The pink with the green. I love that combination together. It's so pretty. Some tickets. Looks like some, oh, some jelly plate backgrounds for ATC size. Those are gorgeous. Some more jelly plate with stamping on it. Wow, Eva. These are rub-ons. Look how pretty. Those are gorgeous. Some beautiful washi tape ribbon. Yep, that's what that is. Fabric tape. That's what she's called it. And these flowers, holy moly. Ah. Little ephemera cards. Wow, this is fabulous. Oh, and postcards. Look how beautiful these are. These would be beautiful to make a, a little, uh, like a postcard journal out of. Ooh, I'm going to set these aside and do that with these, I believe. 
those are gorgeous. And then some ideology or typography paper, uh, paper dolls. Isn't that what they are with some buttons? Let me see. Whoops. Fastest those thighs have moved in years. <laughs> okay, that was bad, but you know, hey, could pass that one up. True. Oh, let's see, even what she used to close the bags are beautiful. Look at that. See, you can see the colors in there with the blues and the blacks. It's just beautiful. And this, I'm not even sure how this was made. But it's almost like plastic. That's fabulous. Okay, we've got some lace. Okay, so let's figure out what we're going to do. All right, we'll set these aside for a minute. Alphabet stickers. Those are great. Those are great. And some more. Oh, some envelopes. Little craft envelopes. Uh oh. I've got an unknown calling. One second. Hello? All right. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm glad that was actually one phone call that I answered. That was a uh, yes, I needed to. All right, let me see. Usually I have the Mod Podge out, but this is some pretty thick envelope stuff. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's see, we went through, and no, we didn't go through the rest of this, but there's more stickers, some doilies. Some beautiful papers. Look at that. It's got glitter on it. You see that? And it got moved again. No, stay. Okay. Some beautiful papers. And then there's some beautiful painty papers too. So look at these. I love that. It looks like bubbles. And that one with the damask print. It's what it looks like anyways. is a damask print. I like that. I like this one too. That one's really beautiful. And so is that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to match, kind of match some colors. That's what I'll use. And I will save the others. Oh, sorry guys. I'm going to use this one and this one. So these other papers. Oh yeah, those are beautiful. So the papers themselves, I'm going to set aside. All right, now this pattern, out of all patterns in the entire world, this pattern right here usually comes like in the blues and whites and sometimes you can find it in the pinks and whites and blacks and whites. I haven't really found it in many other colors. I don't know what this patterning is called, but it is my favorite. My granddaddy had a set of blue and white and I believe it was my grandmother's at one point. 
but um, it was my favorite, my favorite, favorite set in the entire world. And I've always loved this pattern. If anybody knows what this pattern is called, can you give it to me in the comments down below? Um, I, I, I look for paper with this pattern on it, fabric, um, you name it. I'm always looking for it because I love this. Um, I don't know why. It's just one of my favorites. So I'm going to put this aside for now. And the stickers we will put off to the side. I'm going to use that doily, I believe. There's some embossed images that looks like she sanded, like that color core coordination or, you know, even just the white inside. Beautiful. So we will set these aside as well for now. And I might, let me pick through and see if I can find, let's see, that color would work. Some zigzags and borders. Let me see. Nope, that's white. Alrighty. Okay, we'll set those aside. There's some graphics. There's the other stickers. I'll set those with those. All right. Leave these off to the side. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what we can do with what we have right here. First things first, we need to do the background. I need to get I don't know where that one piece went. Well, this will have to do. Some junk mail. Not quite enough. So let's cut a little bit off of this side. I don't really want to cut into that feather. Wow, I am just totally not with it today, am I? Well, it looks like it's straight. It doesn't want to lay down straight, does it? There we go. And we will cut this part off right up here. And we need a little bit more cut off, so we'll cut off the bottom part. Yeah, I am not the greatest at cutting. Not a straight line anyway, y'all. Okay, there we go. Give it a little bit right here. And I believe we've got uh, there for one whole side for Eva's. That's really beautiful. Now, as thick as this is, I'll still use my, my card on it, 
or A card to smooth it out, but it won't be as bad as if this was a, uh, a really thin piece of paper. Because with Eileen's tacky glue, you always, if you don't smooth it out or spread it with a, a spreader or a, like a, I've got an old J.C. Penney's gift card. It leaves lumps, lumpy lines. That's what I call a lumpy lines in your paper. Lumpy lines. Okay. Need that on that side. So let's see what we can do on this side. Will that match better? Or that one? I think I like that one. But what I'm going to do is put that up there, and I believe this down here. I have no idea why that decided. If I like that. And I think we can even use some of this right there. Let's that aside. I have no idea why that is not. Okay, I apologize for the <laughs> Whoops. Okay. That will probably I will try to edit that out. Whether that gets edited or not will determine on the skill of the operator, <laughs> meaning me. All right, that's a little better. So we've got just like that. And we've got her painting papers in there. And because these are thin, I'm going to go ahead and use Mod Podge for this part. Two parts glue, one part water. Easy peasy. Get a big gallon of glue at Menards or Lowe's or whatever. And you can make as much as you want or as little as you want. And it's a whole lot cheaper than buying it at the store as Mod Pod. You can make your own. All right. So let's pull this over. This is the one that's going to go down first. Well... I use one paintbrush for my glues, okay, or my Mod Podge anyway, because the glue wants to, it tears up your bristles. And this is one of the paintbrushes I've had for like a hundred years. <laughs> there we go. Go. OK, 
apparently the best way to Mod Podge is when you write when you're um, gluing it down, you start in the middle and you work your way out. I never figured, I never thunked about it that way, to be honest. Me, it was always, I ah, just throw it down, it'll work. But apparently the, it, it lessens the amount of bubbles, air bubbles and stuff that you get. That's probably common sense, but nobody has ever accused me of having any. I will give you that. Alrighty, and let's do up here. <clears throat> Sometimes, you know, what makes the most sense is the hardest thing for us to figure out, I believe. I think that's because all of our mothers have dropped this on our heads when we were small children. And that knocked our common sense loose. Our common sense brain cell loose. And the only time it works is, you know, by accident. <laughs> yep, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Alright, so we will close this up and put this away for now. Or not. Maybe it wants to be ornery. Okay, come on. All right. And we got the extra papers we shall put over here. Out of the way. <clears throat> now these extra pieces that I've torn off, I will, it won't get, they won't get thrown away. No, no. They'll get put in my little scrap bag that I use to make, um, what do you call it? Clusters and things like that. Actually, before I put this away, there. I'm going to pour me a little bit in one of these dosage cups. Because I may need it. And I don't feel like digging out and dealing with this great big giant thing for uh, the rest of the day. Oh, I like that. Right there. What do you guys think? See? And then I can just throw this down. Just like that. Whoops. Let me put the junk mail under this side. <laughs> Right there for now. All right, so what are we going to put next? Well, let's do that one. That, no, that's kind of big, isn't it? Trim out the center heart out of this. And we will actually do half the heart there and half the heart on that side. How's that look? I think that looks pretty daggum cool. So let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
see, I'm trying to utilize. I can, obviously, I'm not going to be able to use everything she sent me because, bless her heart, she sent me a small store. <laughs> but I can try to utilize as much as I can. So, Eva, if you're watching this, I hope you like it. And I hope I'm picking the items that, you know, that you would like also. Okay. So, we've got that. Let's see what else we have here. Fibers. I really like this ribbon. Wonder <clears throat> I'll take the ribbon and make two bows or two rabbit ears. And try and make a pretty bow with it. Which it actually kind of worked, I think. It did. Hey. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm trying to tighten it up and. There we go. And I can put that probably right there. Let me turn on my blue gun. <sighs> Do I want that there or right there? I think I want that right there. And here's another one. Actually, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be off screen. I did have the camera set up where I wasn't off screen every time I did something, but you know, hey. <sighs> Alrighty. Hmm. On a super big one, but I want to use some of this. And what I did so I didn't have two pieces I'm cutting off, and I've got one bigger piece that I can use later on for something else, maybe, is I just pulled this to one end, this knot to one end so that I can cut right there. And now I've got a one a one loop bow. And I wonder if I can just throw it right in there. I think I will do that with my hot glue gun. And then put a flower right in the center of that. What do you guys think? Let's pick a flower. Oh, there's a heart. I could probably do the heart. I like the heart better. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm like, ooh, look, shiny. <laughs> I can't help it. That's the way I was made. <sighs> Buttons up. I can figure out a button I want to use with it. Let's see, that purple one. I wonder if the heart will work or the purple button. Ah, I like the heart. Okay. We will put you up there for a minute. I definitely like the heart better. Right 
Or should we do the... Nah, I like the heart. I keep going over it, you know, back and forth, back and forth. But let's see. We'll put that over there so my dingy butt doesn't knock it over, which I will. I'm very good at that. Okay. I'm wondering... No. Maybe him there and her there. Think maybe. Think it might work. And put the little kid with his arm leaning on top of the dog's head. <laughs> oh, no, don't want twins. Twinsies. Okay. There's another puppy dog. There's a ballerina. Oh, and there's a smaller. Now we'll leave him big. As soon as the hot glue gun gets ready, I will glue that on there. I really like that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of this bling to it since she sent me so much beautiful bling. off a couple of strips of this. Put that across. Perfect size. Put that across. Or should I put it on this side? Put it on all four sides. What do you think? I don't know. You can see it better over here, though. Maybe just across the top. Or not. I like it on this side. This side's going to get the bow, so this side will get the bling. Right? Put this one right there. Will that stick? Probably not. See if that's hot enough. A little bit. I'll just throw that right there. I like that better. Anyway. <laughs> Dream Bliss Sua.
So, Eva, I really hope this is maybe something of what you might have had in mind for what you use with what I sent you, or what you sent me. And I hope what you got, you can do something with, you know, that I sent you. I never liked the way that in, you know, the old, the 20s or the 30s, 40s, whenever, you know, when people would take pictures, they never smiled. I always made you think that, oh my gosh, that era would, must have been so miserable. Nobody ever smiled, not even in wedding pictures. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to my death. I got married, now I'm dead. Like, really? Whoops, that hurt. But that's what it seems like. It seems like, you know, way back when, nobody ever smiled. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Need a glue stick? Or not? Not yet. It won't go in. All right. So let's start off with this one. Let go. Right over top. Ouch, that's hot. And then the heart right on top of that. I wish I had some of that phrase stop. I would use it. And I didn't think to pull out my craft lighter. But that's okay. What I do need is I need Ava's name so I can put her name on the page. I put her down here. There we go, right there. I will put some bling and a flower by her name. So people will know. Put that right there for now. Let's see. Put that in there. Yep, that'll work. There. Kind of cover up her address a little bit. What's that? Yeah, it looks like the backing to. Do we have one more itty bitty flower? I don't see an itty bitty one. But I do want one of different shades. So, we'll put this one right here. Mm 
I like that one. I need a light one. There we go. No, not that one either. Maybe that one. And then that one. I hope that'll cover it up. Flower. Flower. Let's do a flower in this corner. And then I believe I want to put something in the center. And then we'll be done. How about that blue button? That's a pretty blue button. Let's do the button. And there we go. That is Eva's. Eva's or Ava's. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Everybody tends to do things their own way. So please forgive me if I have pronounced your name wrong, baby. Let's see. Let me move this out of the way and I will turn it around. And here is Eva's page, guys. Eva, I hope you like it. It's beautiful. Thank you for so much of what you gave me. Thank you for everything, actually. All right. Make sure this one's dry. It's still a little bitty damp. So I'm going to pause this so I can dry it. And then when I come back, we will do Lizzie Brewers. Thank you very much, everybody. And I will talk to you in a few minutes. Okay. Well, hello, I am back. All right, now we're going to do Lizzie Brewer's friendship page. Okay, and her papers are right here. And I love all these colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Oh, and they actually I'll tear this like that just so I can leave a little bit of a white border on it. Do one over here and one over here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start just trying to piece things together. And actually, since I did that, let me try something else. Let's see if I can do this. Kind of all the way. And we'll see. really like this the way this is going kind of puzzle piecing it together with torn pages yeah I like that I like that okay right there Yeah. 
this is kind of fun. I kind of like that. So we are going to, hopefully it'll look a little bit better when it's all, you know, put down. But it's really, really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. So let's start. Start on this side. I'm still using the same little medicine dose cup of uh, Mod Podge that I put for Eva's. Just gluing it all down, getting a little bit of everything on both sides, I hope. At least that's what my intent is. Sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. Okay, we got one side down. How are we going to do this? Actually, let me try something else. Put that one up top. This one down here and that one right there. Let's try that. Kind of like that a little better. And I find sometimes if it doesn't want to lay down because of the type of paint or, you know, media that's used on it, then, uh, I like that. Then what I'll do is I'll go back over it, you know, after everything dries. And I'll put um, I'll put a staple in it, or I'll hit it with uh, another coat of Mod Podge or something along those lines. Other than that, Mod Podge is normally the way to go. Unless your paper that you have is just way too heavy. Then obviously, you know, that can't be. Uh-oh, I need a little bit more Mod Podge. Not much, because I'm almost done with this, but... <sighs> See, I won't put very much in there. Mm. Okay. So let's 
see, how else do we want to add this? See, my whole thing is I'm not real good with straight edges. I don't care for them too much. Sometimes they fit, you know, and sometimes they'll work with the with the program, but sometimes they don't. And like with this particular design, I'm not real happy with straight edges unless it's right around the edges. And I'm just taking off the very, 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 very minute edges. I'm going to kind of just work it that way. Like I said, not all the time it works. Sometimes it does. Sometimes you just don't feel like it. <laughs> all right. And then because, see, I know Lizzie likes teal. So I believe this will look really good about right here. So let's go ahead and just add some more of this. And put that right in the middle. Well, I hope she only gave me one. It looks like she might have gave me two. She did give me two. Oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. I was sitting there putting two down. Well, this one's got a really nice coat of Mod Podge on it. A nice sealant. I think I should put that one just right here. Make a match both sides. I think I could do that. Mm, so there's got to be two in this one. Yep, there's two in this white one too that she gave me. Let's see. Yeah. Let's add a little bit more color down here. I had a piece left, so I might as well just throw it in there, right? Okay, so then we've got feathers and we've got a little organza bag, which is so pretty. Okay, Lizzie, how do you want to do this? That one I'm going to hold on to. You know what? Let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Let's try this. One, two, three, four, and five. See, that would make a really pretty flower. Sitting right on top of that. Teal Daisy or Doily, the okay. so let's put you right here. Two. Five. 
All right, now what kind of a center do we want to put on that? Let me see, what do we have up here that we can, actually, what I can do, let's just put that right there, with a little bitty, there. So we did some flowers. And we did her doilies and her papers. Do her feathers. We'll probably do her feathers. Right there in the middle of that one. What do you think? I think it's a wiener. Alrighty, there we go. <sighs> Press those down. Okay, so we've got flower on this side. It's a pretty Lizzie. I know Lizzie likes steampunk. Now, you know what? I probably should have left the feathers off. So let me pull those off. I'll cover that. Only because... Scissors and trim this. There we go. Because I forgot about Lizzie's card over here. So, I want you to be able to Feathers on that side with her flower. And on this side, this is the side I want to put her card on, flip up. Excuse me. I'm going to throw the heat gun on this real quick. Hope that's not too loud. feels decent. So what I want to do is put this here. Uh, please tell me this is tape. It is. Good. Put 
felt like it. Kind of like a washi cake. Which I like. Okay, and we never trust the sticky on a sticker, so not in scrapbooking. Put it right across the top. This trim that because if it's all the way to the edge it won't flip up there we go or over the edge rather it won't flip up and we want it to flip up like that okay <sighs> How does that look? Or across the top? Or along the sides? I think I'll put it along the side. go. Yeah. Okay. I didn't say anything. like one of the die cuts flipped up. Do you want to want to do what? Twice. Oh, I don't care if you do it, Dad. I'm obviously in the middle of something. This rice cooker that Dad has, I don't like it. It makes the rice come out gummy and gooey. And not just like sticky rice like you would, you know, the kind that you can eat with chopsticks. Because we're having stir fry tonight. His comes out, I don't know, gummy and gooey. And it's not my favorite style. I mean, I don't like it dry and where you need a, a shovel to pick it up off the fork or off your plate. But I know. I'm a, I'm a wreck, aren't I? Actually, that looks like it'll fit really nicely right there. I'm going to put this one. Something I had that was given in another one. Um, an extra, but it's just kind of laying there and it looks like it's the perfect size. So I'll go ahead and add it. And I love, I love gorgeous girls. I love Santoro's gorgeous girls. So I'm going to put her right here. There. So when you lift that up, you get a little smile. Okay, let's see. Lizzie, what else did you give me? You gave me more flowers. You gave me some punchinello, which doesn't really work for decorating purposes. Uh, let's do this. Seem to be in a doily mood today. Brush. And we'll get some. More oh. punch and throw that down. We've got the other half we'll put up at the top.
go. And then what I can do, since I've got to have a place to put Lizzie's name and address. Okay, I can put that right there. I usually keep the stamps and the postmarks on most all my envelopes I get if I don't use the envelopes in a happy mail or in a junk journal. Um, I'll use the, uh, what do you call it, the postmarks and stuff on embellishments. Okay. Yeah, me and my straight edges, right? Which so far to me, it, sometimes I want them, sometimes I don't. Right now, I don't want them. Uh, I can use that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is put. That over her address, the little pieces that came out. Let it go. Oops. I could have just done out her name, but this way, if worse comes to worse, and I really lose her address, and I need to send her something like emergency, I can always pull those off and look if they'll come off. If they won't, they won't, and I'll just have to look it up online. <laughs> All right, well, I'm believing that that's pretty much it. Now I want to really want to put some more of this down because this is all I got left on it. Let's do this. I'll do it that way. That way I don't have to cut it, and I can use it all. Okay. I'm just going to put a thin line all the way up. There we go. I will throw some flowers down. Kind of fill in some of the white, I guess. There you go. Um, okay, come on. Do a little bit right here. And aside from the Punchinello, and the foil, which I really didn't know what to do with, and I didn't want to dig out my, my die cut machine for pretty much got all of Lizzie's done as well. It didn't take me near as long to get hers done. This was very straightforward. Very beautiful. Actually, I think what I'm going to do on this flower, I can find it. And I can. Yes, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, like glitter glue on it. Just enough to give it a little bit of sparkle. I 
I should get one of those Winkastella pens. Those are really nice to use when you just want a, a vague sparkle over something and not, you know, like a line. That's really beautiful to use. First time I ever used one was at um, Stacy's house, a pink poodle mama's, a couple weeks ago. So that's pretty nice. So I'm just putting a little bit of sparkle on these, not a whole lot, just to kind of give it some oomph, and then I'll sparkle her hat. <laughs> Put a dot of sparkle on her hat. And then we have Lizzie's, and Lizzie's is done. So... Lizzie Brewer, my love, I hope. Uh, well, I hope I can find the lid to my glue. Maybe I'll find it when I pick this up, and I didn't. I'm turn this around. All right, Liz, what do you think? And I got that one as a flip up. Your card, I absolutely love your card. If you see this, I would love for you to send me just some punched out images of her. You know, not punched out, but stamped images of just her. Just throw them in an envelope. I'd be happy. I love her to death. Oh, I can't find my glue. Lib. Come on. This happened before. And then I ended up finding it on the floor. Ugh. So, okay. Well, I will look for that when I turn the video off. For now, that's what I'm going to do. I am done with, uh, I found it. I'm done with my two friendship journal flockers today. I'm waiting on Mary's and Melissa's, I believe. Yes, Mary and Melissa's. And when I get those done, or when I get those in the mail, I will do these. I will do theirs, rather, and add to Oops, that wasn't cool. All right. Anyway, but I got to leave it open because it takes a while for this glitter glue to dry. Not as, now the Nugo drops aren't that bad from Tonic, Tonic Studios. Now the Studio G glitter glue, that stuff takes forever. Forever. Okay, so there's Lizzie Brewers. from what she sent me. And on that note, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Okay? I'd really appreciate it. Helps me out. Helps all YouTubers out if you give us a thumbs up. Even if you give us a thumbs down, which kind of sucks, because if you don't like us, then don't watch us. But, you know, hey. Uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, leave me a comment down in the bottom. Let me know, you know, what you thought. Um, and everyone, I would love for you to have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.